This thing is very cool. Wow, this thing's really nice. This is in line to go up. This is the line that goes up inside to get auctioned off. Just sitting here idling. Hopefully it doesn't overheat. Look at the grill on this monster. It's a really, this is a really cool car. Snoop around on the inside. Does it have the push button? It does have the push button. Push button tranny over there. Figured it would. Welcome back boys and girls once again to MCL. Today uh, we are back in Winona, Minnesota at the Rimlinger Classic Car Auction. You can see some sweet rides behind me here. Um, these look like they these look like they haven't gone up yet. And you can kind of hear they're auctioning off all day long. Just going, going, going. Um, if you've never been here, you're in the area, you definitely should check it out. I have some other uh, videos of this in previous years. I think I did. They have two a year. So I think I did the spring one. You can check that out. I put like a thumbnail right here. You can see the different ones that I've done. So check those out. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And subscribe, like, comment. I'm sure there's a lot of things I've said in this video that are completely wrong or something maybe I got a question on or whatever. Always throw comments, man. Even if it's something like you're a moron, you have no idea what you're talking about, throw it down. Why not? So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, check out my channel for other stuff and like and subscribe and let's get at this Big old mercury Look at this right here. This is interesting. Look at this here There's like vents on each side Not sh too sure why they put a big pointy thing on the end, but whatever Coronet convertible. That's a, a lot like the one that's in line. Big old gaudy front end on it. Imagine being in your Prius and seeing this come up behind you at a stoplight. Three twenty-seven. Three twenty-seven and Impala convertible, bench seat, automatic. Imagine, yo. And we have a Firebird convertible. That looks like it's a manual. Custom 56 Chevy. I think these louvers are pretty cool on it. Let the heat out. It's hard to see inside this one. Viper's still for sale if you really want something like that. Wow, this Bel Air is really cool. It's got a 409 in it. Nope, big block. 
like a newer style big block with the valve covers. I don't know if the valve covers are interchangeable or not. Two fours. 59. I like the all white with the red. Customized Camaro. 69 convertible. And a Mustang with 69.70, 69. This is a Mach 1. It says 351 Windsor 3 speed automatic. Disc brakes in the front. Seventy-one Dodge Challenger RT. It's got that flip, flip open gas cap. Very cool color. Really nice body on it. So you see the sweet ride behind me here. Don't you think if you had something that cool? and maybe you do, you want to put it on a t-shirt. Well, I got just the thing for you. On Trend, that's where I get all my shirts. That's where you should be getting your shirts. And if you had a sweet ride like this one right here, you could put it on a shirt. Um, no extra charge for multiple colors on designs, logos. There's no minimum. You want one shirt of your sweet ride? Do you want a thousand? Give it all out to your friends, why not? No maximum, no minimum. And I'm talking about high digital printing and embroidery on anything you want, apparel, whatever it would be. So uh, here's what the link looks like. Of course, I'll leave a, a link in the description. So check it out uh, on trend. Um, here's a couple examples I'll throw up on the screen. And then if you got an event going on, you are the uh, rat rod guys of Minneapolis you got a car club or something like I said before there's no maximum so you can get all your event t-shirts here so yeah um, I highly recommend you check out on trend again here's a link to it I'll leave a link in the description and uh, yeah go ahead and check that out oh unfortunately these are all facing the fence but uh, imagine they parked them that way because this whole row along here these are all sold. Don't know what they sold for. Um, they rolled through before I got here. This thing is really nice. This is cool. But yeah, this whole row along the fence here is sold. Even this uh, sweet farm truck right here. The dent and everything. Let's take a look at the line of a 230 S with a 1977 10 now. A nice, clean California. 356 Chevelle. Look at all. 230 S and 1977. Got the red. That is red line wheel or tires on it. That's cool. Rocking the Keystones. 20, Automatic 68. Oh, here it says here it says 454. 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15, 20, 15
There's a big boy. What do you got? 65. This thing's actually pretty cool. A little rough. Actually, a lot of rough, but. Rambler, 64 Rambler, convertible. Next to it, we got a 66 Belvedere. Not perfect, but be a cool car to have. Under the dash, AC. Galaxy. Oh, Fox body. There you go. Without a reserve. I could take this home today. We got 93. Last year, the Fox body. Looks like it's uh, mostly stock, except for that ugly wing on the back. That thing's hideous. Yuck. A little rough. The hood looks like it doesn't match the rest of it. Very rough Ranger right here. Oh wow, this thing is awesome. Got 69 Dodge Crew Cab. Oh, whole story right here. You want to read a story? Got a step side box on it. Looks like it has brand new exhaust. Wow, this thing's really cool. Here's a good shot of it. You can see the whole long thing. That's a long truck. And next to it is a blazer, full-size blazer. Eighty-six. They want to say this is an eighty-six. Dodge. Look at this. this is an interesting paint here. Kind of like changes in the sun. Always a lot of dust on these cars, though. That's what I don't like. But what do you do? This is not a GTO. It is a GTO. 68. Thought maybe it was just a Le Mans. I don't see any GTO badges on it. There on the front, I guess. It does have the tack, I guess, too. This guy is a Manuel, Manuel GTO. Convertible next to it. Aftermarket wheels, 63 Galaxy 500. Denali, don't know why that's here. Here's an old Dodge. Wow, this is in really good shape. The Ram. I always like these hood ornaments like that. I wish cars still did that. Wow, this is really nice. Imagine you can hear him behind me still just going at it. They'll be going at it all day. 65 fastback. I'm trying to keep my shadow out of the shot. It's really hard to do. Camaro, SS. Actually, I think this was here last year. Must not been sold, yeah, because it's got the 396, 1970 396. I looked this up. This is actually a pretty rare car for a 70 with a big block in it. You guys can do your little investigating on the interwebs and look this up, but I want to say this is kind of rare. Seventy seven Trans Am six point six automatic. 
and we have a 78 high sierra what is this that's some kind of little add-on of some sort oh it's like american flag must be i don't know this is cool back here the gas cap really nice paint i like the color nothing like spectacular just nice and clean different grill on it aftermarket headlights I like it, it's not overdone with all kinds of gaudy junk on it. 65 Fastback, aftermarket rims, obviously. I like the color. I kind of lean towards the blues. Got the blues, and this is a manual. Makes it a little funner to drive. I know this has a different front end like a uh, like a GT350, I think, has that same kind of front bumper on it like that. Oh, I just noticed the stripes. It has really faint stripes in it. Remlinger always has these big tents they put up in the back. And this is where the cars will line up and they'll go through this one here, go inside, get auctioned off. We're gonna sneak on in to this one here. Hopefully it's not too dark, I can record. And uh, it'll turn out all right. Packard, I like the Woody. Wow, this thing is cool. This thing is very cool. Shut the front door. That big old steering wheel in there. Can you imagine back in the day taking a road trip cross country, piling the whole family, the kitties in the back, and we're going to the Grand Canyon, boys, get in the car. Just floating down the road. Just you, the family, and the swan. What year are we talking here? 48 Packard Wagon Woody. That doesn't say a whole lot. This is very cool though, very cool. And not sure what kind of monstrosity we got going on here. Looks like small block Chevy. Yeah, it's just a custom hot rod, I kind of figured. Looks like a tractor. It's like some kind of tractor grill on it. Could be wrong. It's interesting. Comet. Comet and a Nova. Which one would you pick? Are you a Ford guy? Chevy guy? If you're a Dodge guy, too bad. You got to pick one of these. Which one is it? This one, for sure. Because if it has a 427 in it, 
That would be beyond cool. Still for sale. Ooh, I could take this home. Got the big old pig nose hood on it. Let's see what the paper has to tell us. Uh, 65 Comet Cyclone Tribute. True 427 cubic inch side oiler, dual carbs, T5 trans. Yeah, uh-huh. This would definitely be my pick right here. How cool is that? But you know, we gotta give some love to Lenovo too. 66, four speed, 327. Oh, this is interesting. Kale Yarbrough, special, 454. What do we got going on here? Laguna, 76, blah, 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 blah. Fuel injected 454, connected to a T5. 10 bolt, 355 gears. I don't know, I'm torn on this one. And we have a Chevelle convertible. I'm guessing, what, 71? 72? 71. Small block. Looks basically all stock, still for sale. Is this a big block? No. 69 Mercury Cyclone GT. Oh, it is. It says 428 here, 428 four speed manual. Where are the badges? There should be 428 badges on there. I would think. Another Nova, small block. Is this a. Imperial. Imperial. I have no idea what year this thing would be. And there again, there's your push button. Very interesting back in the day. Got the trunk open. What's in the trunk? Look at the, look at the lights up here. Oh, it's got a Hemi. Got the, the tiny Hemi in it. Very nice car, man. Really nice. There it is. Chrysler Firepower. Looks like a 56. That writing is way too small for me to read, so I'm going to skip that. 71 Chevelle. And of course, it's all dusty, so that doesn't help things. Got a lot of aftermarket stuff going on. These seats kind of look like the ones in my Focus. They kind of just hug you like a glove. We got a LS of some sort under the hood. 706 heads. That tells me it's probably a three or a 5.3. Really nice car. These have always been cool since the day they were built. Grand National, I think it's 86. Yeah, 86. Still got the original rims on it. Oh, we got extra rims in the trunk even. In case you want to put the doors on. I'm pretty sure these are stock. The ones in the trunk look stock though too. A Ford. What is this, a 50? 51, I'm always, every time I guess on a year, I'm always one year off. 51, what does this tag say? Eh, I didn't tell you a whole lot. Look at these taillights.
Is this, uh, is this Suzanne Summers' car from American Graffiti? Doubt it. Camaro? SS69. What's this tell us? 396. Four speed manual. I don't know about the yellow. The yellow kind of throws me off. Here we got a Ford. Without reserve. This one is still for sale. I'm not sure why these are all parked the other way. Got any people uh, in Great Britain, England watching? There you go. There's one for you. Just one. You only get one. And a Shelby convertible. Is this the original? Definitely has the right tail lights. Uh, I think it is. Yeah, this looks like original. Look at there, Automotive Club. GT350. So this would be a, gosh, what is a 69? Oh man, I nailed it, 69. 351, five speed in it now. Blah, 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 orange with black stripes. I never liked the hoods on the 69. So I'm gonna head on in the second tent here and I probably won't be able to say a whole lot because it's gonna be a lot noisier. I'm gonna be closer to the auctioneer. So we'll just run through this real quick and one's pulling out here.
pain, put pain down, seven pain, five. 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 Put pain
Without reserve, four door though, you know, Buick. That's super cool, Buick. What does this tell us? 26 Buick, six cylinder, three speed manual, blah, blah, blah. Really hope uh, somebody doesn't get a hold of this and chop it up into a hot rod. And here we have a Ford convertible pickup. Look at that. That must be a long box, maybe? Ha, I don't know. Zero creature comforts in this thing. And we got a few stashed off into the corner here. This guy here looks like he's been in the corner for quite a while. 69 Plymouth Roadrunner. Meet, 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 right there. Sixty-nine Plymouth Roadrunner. Look at there, thirty-four thousand miles. Here's all your tags for you internet typers. Look that all up if you really feel the need. And then over here, got an old Ranchero Corvette. Still for sale. I don't know why they have these all. This one sold, Cadillac. I'm not too sure why they have them all stuffed in the corner like this. Oh boy, look at this guy. Cadillac. Sold, this one sold. I'm guessing it probably went more than like, you know, two grand. I don't know. Is that a factory paint? I don't know about that paint. What do you got? 57, 365, fully restored. Air conditioning. Let's look at the old tail on it, shall we? Wow, that is a that is very cool. And again, we just got this old Plymouth stuffed back in here in the RV section or camper section. Just park them wherever, I guess. This year, 31 Plymouth PA Theft Series convertible. I like the the two tone color. And there's those cool hood ornaments again. Try to get my big bean head out of there, the shadow. I like it though, I like it. Wagon, everybody. Wagon, in case you didn't notice that, it's a wagon. Nova, we got 67. Bench seat, aftermarket shifter. I like the dog dishes, the rims that match, the color of the rims match the car. Always cool. I can't believe it, guys. Mark, that is a beautiful, beautiful truck. I know you can't see it. Absolutely, it is. Beautiful. Absolutely, it is. 351 cubic inch V8 automatic transmission. Jim, they did the restoration 10 years ago. It looks like yesterday. 37. Engine, power steering, power brakes, all the restoration with not many miles on it. 
So I really don't know why they have them parked the way they do. Um, in my last video, you can, if you go back and look at that, you can see they got them parked the other way. It's just so much easier to record. I don't know why they changed it, but we'll do our best to show you some of these sweet cars. Hopefully I can keep my shadow out of the shot. But if I shot the other way, then everything is in a shadow and you just can't see the cars that well. You know how it goes. Look at the rack on this. Talk about taking your kids to the Grand Canyon. Man, you could get a couple families in the back of this thing. Pack them up. We're going on a trip. The step side, Chevy step side. It's got a V8 engine, power steering, power Chevy race. long box. Racer, Scott, but not many miles on it. Firebird, new, Bella, new Chrome, rust free North Mustang, Dakota, dual exhaust. The interior is in great shape. Corvette convertible. This shape. one needs a little TLC. Fifty-five Merc, Crown Victoria. And the SN95 Mustang. Thunder Chicken. Got some wires on it down here. What year are we talking on this cat right here? Let's take a look. 62 V8 5 speed, 5 speed automatic. That seems not right. Maybe it's got like a AOD overdrive. Well, I'd still be a four-speed. Five-speed automatic, huh? Interesting. Another Thunder Chicken. Got some Mustang wheels on it. That's kind of gaudy. We have a Ford. Must be a 51 again. Remember those ugly taillights? Did I guess right this time? 51. I like this visor. The visor's cool. Fifty one and nailed it. Sixty two Cadillac convertible in desperate need of a paint job. I don't know if you guys can see this. The whole car is like this. Not good. Not good at all. Really wish these cars were parked the other way. 45 degree rate. Still for sale. A little square body. Look at this front end. That's very interesting. Let's see what the old paper says. 81, 350 aluminum head or dart iron heads, intake, blah, blah, blah. That's cool. And we have a Pontiac Firebird convertible. Sixty nine, three fifty. Another Cadillac needs some needs some love and care. That wiring does not look good. So, some assembly required. Same with this guy. He was probably in a burnout contest, blew the back tires up, ripped the fenders right off. That's what happened right there. That's a shame. Crying shame. Just cry over it. Here's another caddy. Needs some loving. Top looks nice. Must be a newer top. Oh, we're that, we're that close. We're that close. Take a look at that down there in second chance. New pal of four door. No reserve. 500. It's got the Mickey Thompson valve covers, boy. Rocking those. 67 Dodge. 
65 Biscayne crate engine 502. You got the uh, bow tie performance stamped on the front. Probably got a few ponies in that, I would think. I really like the color. Wheels are really cool that match the car. Bench seat, automatic. I'm not sure if it comes with that zip tie. It'd be really cool if the zip tie came with it. You can see the aftermarket dash gauges. What does the paper tell us? Crate engine, automatic, 17 inch wheels, 18 disc brakes, four wheel disc brakes. I like it. I like it. So I just want to throw out a quick reminder, you got a sweet ride or anything that you want to show off, you can't show it off 24 seven, you just can't. Especially if you got a sweet ride, you want to drive it in the winter time, but you can put it on a t-shirt and you can wear that t-shirt 24 seven if you want to. How do you do that? Go ahead and check out On Trend. Um, like I said before, there's a link in the description. Five, 25, 27, five, seven, five, it's seven, five for a while, seven, five, it's seven, five, 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 127, five, 26, 27, 27, where we need now seven, 27, 28, and now eight, and now eight, 27, now eight, now eight, now we're gonna seven, eight, now we're gonna seven, eight, 28,000, 28,000, 29,000, 29,000, uh, 80, 29, 8, 9, Dave Hammer, 28, 29, Dave Hammer, 28, now 29, 28, now 29, now we're gonna 9, Wayne, are you available? Hooker Black Heart Exhaust and Heathers, the motor parts for power coated, we're going to rebuild the motor, it's all BTR products. It's got the 6180 uh, transmission in it as well, an outstanding offering. You see all 334, and now 34, one minute before, move on, 3334, 3334,000. We're going to put that in the second chance offer. Kirk, I know there's still interested in that one, and you can certainly find that in the second chance offer. And we're moving on to 262, which is a 1960 Best Buy VBB 150. We're going to redo this one from yesterday. It's got on display and has been. That's not been on for a while. That looks just like you want to move it up to it up before you take it down the road. But it is a beautiful 
get the number. And here is Jimmy. 603, is that right, Jeremy? 603 is your body. All right, I'll send you down to Kirk Marker. Oh, and Eddie Bear, and Jeremy. Take a look at line 266, ladies and gentlemen, got 1969 Shelby GT 351. This got that 351 on against V8. Canada, 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 $4,000. Now four, now five, $4,000. 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 Now five, $4,000.